At this age, other people are taking cruises or spending time tending their garden. But for Franz Müntefering and Heinz Riesenhuber, that wouldn't do at all. Both are over 70 and they can't imagine a life without politics. Müntefering likes to give lectures to suitable audiences about the issues of aging. What do these 60 to 80 year olds do? Move to Mallorca and say, send us our pensions and we'll see how you manage? Or do they say, no, I have an idea of how it should be. It's good for us and those who come after us. And only the second solution works. Franz Müntefering, when he was younger, in the Bundestag and as an SPD party conference delegate. Franz, you've run way over your speaking time. Surely you'll let me finish this sentence. And many more sentences, because his heyday began later, with the Grand Coalition in 2005. As Labour Minister, he pulled off a major coup, introducing a gradual rise in the retirement age to 67. It didn't make him popular. Unions and employees protested. Heinz Riesenhuber, the man with the bow tie. Under Chancellor Helmut Kohl, he was research minister for more than 10 years. As the oldest member of parliament, he opened the first session of the Bundestag in 2009. Now 75, he doesn't think much of different policies for the elderly and the young. It seems to me that one of the strengths of Germany's major political parties is that they really solve problems for all generations, instead of separating the generations and serving each of them individually. That's something that unites the elderly parliamentarians across party lines. They don't want to hear about possible generation differences. Although Riesenhuber and Müntefering had already been in the Bundestag for several years when some of their colleagues were babies. Of course, there are clever, wise old people, but there are also senile and silly old people. But I also know 25-year-olds who are older than their own grandfathers. I strongly recommend that we shouldn't divide people according to age, but instead ensure that the sensible people, no matter how old they are, make sensible policies together. And that can only mean we're not alike, but we're all equally valuable. At 70, windsurfing. Many elderly people are far removed from what you might call retirement. They're physically fit and are no strangers to the Internet. Older people are keeping up with the times and not letting themselves be pushed aside. But many issues will affect coming generations instead of their own. And the average age of German parliamentarians is 50. Should they be making decisions about the future? If I look at the Bundestag, I expect it to reflect society. And when I really look closely at the average age and also see how many men and women are represented, how many academics and how many non-academics, I have to say that on average the Bundestag doesn't reflect the population, and I think that's a shame. And I believe that if there are more young politicians, the realities young people experience are discussed and perceived differently. In fact, the federal government is younger now than it's ever been. Three ministers, including the deputy chancellor, are well under 40. And the minister responsible for families and the elderly is on maternity leave at present. A good role model, because Germany's birth rate is very low. But that doesn't seem to worry the older politicians. The mistake was that people didn't have enough children 30 or 40 years ago. We can't change that today. I myself have four children and eight grandchildren right now. It could literally be nine tomorrow. I'm really glad my children are doing something to keep the country young. But I don't believe the government can do much by taking political steps. I see no point in complaining about the children we don't have. We should be taking care of those we do have. If we do that well, it's the best way to encourage young people as potential parents to have children.
There are other issues, such as immigration. I think it's worth considering taking in capable young people from other countries. When it's assured, they'll be able to assert themselves here, can speak the language and are familiar with the labor market. Immigration instead of a high birth rate, another issue that Christian Democrat Riesenhuber and Social Democrat Muntefering agree on. Both will certainly continue to pursue their political careers for some time to come, and neither can imagine themselves sitting back in a rocking chair.